So I'm going to be doing a book review over the books that I've read August through October and my current read. So first off is my favorite book I dare say I have ever read. I give this a 5 out of 5. If I could rate it beyond a 5, 100% would. Definitely. I do have to say there's a lot of trigger warnings that were not mentioned in the beginning that I was like whoa these probably should be mentioned before you get into them I'll put the uh, trigger warnings on the screen so if you trigger easily to any of those things I do say either don't read it or be warned type thing other than that this book is so good the detail in here amazing her writing style is one that I could easily follow. I wanted to keep on reading this more and more. It was just, whoa. And by the time I finished it, I had to recover like for a month before picking up another book. Like legitimately, this is the only book I ended up reading in August because I had to have a full recovery of it. But it is really good. Just very be warned type read. So after I finished Girl in Pieces, I went into this book in September. I honestly thought it wasn't that bad. I do have to say I'm not a huge fan of Colleen's writings. I do like some of her books, like Verity is my top three, and It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us are also pretty good pretty good books of hers. But I have to say this plot line, I liked it, but I think the only thing that kept me reading was Ledger and honestly just the characters that's probably the only thing that can be reading i'm sorry if you like this book more i have to rate it at 3.5 because i wasn't all that extremely into it this is going to be a bit of a controversial topic i feel like but this book i have to rate it a three out of five i liked the characters and everything but i felt as if atlas wasn't the atlas in the first book and i did not like that i felt like he was more like I don't know he just felt very different as a character and the writing felt very forced it felt like she was forcing herself to write the book not like for her own pleasure if that makes sense i don't know i'm iffy with colleen hoover books so i wasn't going into it expecting a whole lot i kind of got what i thought was going to happen but i wish i would have seen more the ending was very rushed and i hated that so much this book was a 4.5 of 5 because I liked it. I love the writing. I love the plot line. However, the plot line also made me feel like it was kind of um, similar to Shadow and Bone series and like the Grishaverse. That's what I kind of was getting from this or like superpowers type thing. And I was like, oh, mm. when more people got involved, I kind of just... I don't know, it made me a little like skeptical of how the rest of the series is going to be. But I'm currently reading the next book in that series and I think that it's going well so far. A lot of people have read this book. I also saw this from TikTok and I was like, I have to read it because everyone is like fangirling over this one character. And I have to say, I agree with them. But that's all I have to say so far from this series. As you can see, I'm really not that much in. I think only like 80 pages. But it's going pretty good. I do recommend this series to people. It is pretty good and I love the covers. They're so cute. I kind of do buy books for their covers because if it's like highly recommended and the cover looks cute, I'm like, I'm in. If you read any of these books, comment below. Tell me how you like them and Give me your, any recommendations that you have that you think I would like according to my taste in books so far. Have a wonderful rest of your day.